What's going on guys? Welcome to another edition of the Nerd Chase channel. I'm your boy Nerd Chase and in this video we're going to be talking about director Edgar Wright. Now, I hadn't really like t paid really really paid attention to his, you know, his projects and things like that, but then I went back over and I started realizing like a lot of his stuff that he has done, I've actually watched and I actually enjoyed. Now, the topic of this video him is him uh switching over um, let me stop because <laughs> I like, talk too much sometimes. Edgar Wright is actually considering for another project a psychological horror film. Now, I have my thoughts about that, but I want to go briefly over his filmography. Uh, some, some of the things that I've seen him direct and or be involved in, which I actually thought were really good. Um, he directed like those, you know, those three Simon Pegg movies. I forgot what they're called. Uh, but uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The World's End. I did watch Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz, and I really did enjoy both of those, which he did direct. He directed one of my favorite comic book movies of all time, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Really enjoyed it. He was involved in Attack the Block, which wasn't a bad movie. Uh, the Adventures of Tintin, which I still haven't finished watching. Uh, he was involved in Ant-Man, which I really enjoyed, and he directed Baby Driver, which was one of those movies that was like, it was good it was it was like a good movie um it was it was like a good it was a good movie i'd say that it was a good movie um so he's been in some things and i really enjoyed a lot of what he has uh been in and it seems like a lot of the things that he's been in is mostly sh about comedy comedy and for and a bit of action and stuff like that so okay I, we can go with that uh and it seems like he wants to switch over and do a psychological horror film which i think is an interesting total change now the reason why i say this could possibly work based on my point of what i was saying earlier is because james wan i think that's the guy's name though dude that directed aquaman was in horror films he did like 10 horror films and then turned around and made aquaman and made one of the best superhero films to ever come out so i have no idea uh what got you know mr right here thinking that he wants to do a psychological horror but the reason why I'm, it's two reasons why I'm actually like supporting him on this and I think it's a good idea is because one, I love it when a director and or actor tries to be diverse because that expands their skills uh, and uh, that expands their skill set in terms of directing. So it's pretty, it's be really cool to see, the, uh, see this guy tackle that based on what I've seen with his comedies. And also, like I said, James Wan, the guy who directed Aquaman, show that you can be in certain uh, and have a certain medium and then total a uh, genre and totally switch over into something else and still be badass at it and then the thing about it is despite all of those movies horror movies that he made aquaman was the most successful one that he's ever put out uh so that that, that tells you something right there so uh but i want to be sure let me uh make sure that it is james one because I, I don't want, yep, James James Wan. So, um, Edgar Wright's actually done uh, good by me. So, I'm, I'm actually supportive of his uh, efforts. And I'm interested what type of psychological horror, but is it going to be like a supernatural one? Is it going to be like a, uh, is it going to be like a thriller? Is it going to be like somebody in like a sane asylum or something like that? I'm interested to see what it's going to go back. I go about that. So, I'm going to try to keep up with, uh, with, with this idea that he's going to be working on. But, guys, in the comment section below, let me know what are your thoughts about Edgar Wright uh, working on a psychological horror film, especially based off all of the comedies and action films that he has already done. And also, tell me which one of his movies is actually your favorite. Hands down, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is my favorite. Uh, <laughs> but, um, also, be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what we got going on on this channel. We'll definitely catch you guys later.